Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be showing you the Dreamboard theme Mountain Lion OS iPad. It is free on the Mod My I repo and it's uh, really similar to other Dreamboard themes for Mac OS X and um, it is pretty basic. It does have a few more features than the other themes that I've shown on this channel um, but it does have a few less too so you can kind of weigh those options. So you can see here we have our standard um, status bar up at the top but everything else has changed the wallpaper isn't the standard wallpaper and we can actually select four different wallpapers to choose from besides this preset one we have five total and uh, we can select between those so uh, those work pretty well and uh, compared to the old uh, Mac OS X Dreamboard theme that I showed this is a new feature and uh, let's just change it to the flower one so on the bottom all of these applications work so if I select to open the App Store it does open the App Store and all of those work now over here on the left we have Mission Control and Mission Control allows you to open the Calendar, Mail, or Safari app and if I click on one of those it does open and um, the, these aren't actually customizable they're preset no matter which apps you have running in the background so the launcher app, uh, I guess launcher button over here, shows you all your apps in alphabetical order. And uh, I found this to be kind of buggy. Um, it wasn't super smooth, but uh, you can see that they're in sets here, and you can scroll through in alphabetical order. And that's how you can see all of your apps. So we close out of that. Now, Finder actually does work inside this Dreamboard theme. When we click it, we have the option to open up iFile terminal or system preferences and uh, if we click on iFile you can see it opens iFile terminal I don't know what that opens um, assuming it's a specific application from Cydia but I don't know uh, and finally system preferences just opens up settings so finally on the home screen besides uh, everything I've showed we have a folder over here and this folder contains preset apps there's no way to change these. These are kind of, you're stuck with them. There's 10 of them and they all open. So if I launch Cydia, you can see Cydia opens and all of them actually do work. So finally we can scroll to the left here and you can see that we have three widgets. Now uh, these widgets do work and they're very similar to the other uh, Mac OS X Dreamboard themes. We have a tile widget here which um, we can get to move around and you can actually play the tile game with. We have a calendar widget, um, which you can scroll through the calendar. And we have a calculator widget, which actually does work up here. It is a little slow, but it does work. So um, you can actually add any widgets or, or delete any of these. Um, you're kind of stuck with them. And uh, one thing I've noticed is that the actual uh, like uh, dock doesn't move. Just the background kind of uh, rotates as you slide your finger across which is uh, kind of strange looking it doesn't look um, normal and it doesn't look like it has uh, a lot of cool like transitions it just kinda slides across but uh, really that's about it um, to get out of the Dreamboard theme you just click this trash can down here and it takes you back in the Dreamboard um, but that's about it with the theme it's a pretty cool theme uh, considering it's free and uh, if you guys want to check it out, uh, it is called Mountain Lion OS iPad. And uh, it's free on the Mod Maya repo. So go check it out if you like it. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or recommendations, leave those in the comments. And uh, if you're new and want to see more videos like this, just click that subscribe button. So thanks again, and have a nice day.